What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on SoFi stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then we'll continue with a bunch of news uh, related to this company. And I have to say, not all of them are bullish. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this very point uh, and I've told you that uh, we formed uh, some kind of channel and uh, I warned you that this channel was a bearish channel and usually these channels break uh, to the downside. But we had a very good reaction from the lower support of this channel and I've told you that uh, you can accumulate your position right here at this very point from this point uh, all the way down and your stop loss should be slightly below this previous bottom. And uh, my main target was right here at uh, this range of uh, resistance at $13.07. And uh, we went lower. And if you follow my channel thoroughly, you could uh, put your stop loss right here. And even though if uh, you made uh, one lump sum buy right here, uh, your stop loss uh, might be about 6% uh, of potential losses. But uh, this stop loss prevents you from uh, the huge losses of uh, about 22%. And if you accumulate your position uh, by laddering your buys down, your losses uh, to the stop loss order might be as low as uh, 3 to 2%. And definitely it is a very powerful tool when you put your stop loss because it prevents you from uh, huge uh, losses in the future. So, and as you can see, we broke uh, this support line. And uh, let me show you more thoroughly that we have a very good... Uh, that we have very good reaction from this uh, range of support. We bounced to the upside, but then broke it to the downside, retested from the bottom. And uh, from this point, when we started to move uh, lower, definitely it was another better signal that we might hit even lower targets. And right here, as you can see, we almost hit, basically we broke uh, for about 10 cents this previous uh, swing low. And uh, it is all-time low. And I have to say that uh, this is uh, the range of uh, support uh, that, uh, in my opinion, uh, might be a double bottom pattern. And if it is the case, as you can see, we have very good bounce to the upside uh, for more than 6.5%. And uh, what should we expect next? I will show you in my technical analysis. And for now, uh, let me show you what was the reason of this massive sell-off. First of all, definitely on April the 6th, uh, we have uh, the article from... Uh, Mr. Joe Biden administration and they officially extended uh, the student loan payment moratorium through August 31st. And in a statement, President Biden stated that uh, my administration is extending the pause on federal student loan repayments uh, through August 31st, 2022. That additional time will assist borrowers in achieving greater financial security and support the Department of Education's efforts to continue improving student loan programs. As a part of this transition, uh, the Department of Education will offer additional flexibilities and support uh, for all borrowers. Definitely, this uh, news uh, affected the price uh, of uh, SoFi, but in my opinion, it wasn't the main catalyst. Uh, right after we had this news, uh, we have uh, another news uh, from SoFi itself, and uh, they reduce uh, their guidance uh, for full year 2022. And let me quote you this. SoFi's updated adjusted net revenue and adjusted EBITDA guidance for full year 2022 is $1.47 billion and $100 million respectively. A reduction from previous uh, guidance of $1.57 billion and $180 million respectively. SoFi maintains uh, its original guidance uh, of uh, $280 to $285 million adjusted net revenue and uh, zero to five million dollars adjusted to be done for the first quarter of 2022. Definitely they had the same guidance for Q1 2022 because originally moratorium was due to uh, May the 1st. And let me quote you what uh, Anthony Noto said. SoFi remains incredibly well positioned uh, to drive continued strong growth in revenue, members and products, along with uh, continued and improving profitability, despite the fact uh, that our student loan refinancing business has operated at uh, less than 50% of pre-COVID levels for the last uh, two years. Even uh, with the assumption uh, of no end uh, to the moratorium in 2022, our 
new full year 2022 financial guidance represents approximately 45% year-over-year adjusted net revenue growth to $1.47 billion, a tripling of adjusted EBITDA to $100 million and a doubling of margins. SoFi has done an outstanding job achieving record financial results. Member and product growth and consistent profitability despite the negative impact of the extended student loan payment moratorium. We will work diligently to continue that trend in 2022. And definitely the reduction of their guidance was the negative catalyst for investors and that is why, let me show you, Right after that, on uh, April the 7th, a lot of uh, analysts uh, reduced their price target and uh, Bank of America reduced uh, from 14 to 12 dollars. Whitbush reduced from 20 to 15 dollars. Mizuho reduced from 17 to 14 dollars. And Oppenheimer reduced from 18 to 13 dollars. But all of these uh, new price targets are above uh, the current range of about 8 dollars. And uh, definitely it is a still very good upside potential even in a short term perspective. And I have to say that this reduction also was uh, some kind of uh, negative sign because uh, all of these firms want to stay in line with uh, the current price and they don't want uh, to set uh, unrealistic targets. And uh, let me show you another news that was published also on uh, April the 6th. And uh, it is uh, the changes uh, in uh, SoFi's board of directors. And uh, three members stepped down. It is uh, Clay Wilkes, uh, founder uh, of Galileo Financial Technologies, and uh, two SoftBank's uh, members. Uh, it is uh, Michelle Combs and Carlos Medeiros. And I have to say that the resignation of uh, Clay Wilkes, founder of Galileo, was quite expectable, because uh, they already implement uh, the entire functionality of Galileo into the SoFi ecosystem, and that's why, uh, basically, uh, you don't need extra member in your board of directors, and that is why he stepped down. But these two persons definitely was uh, the major bad catalyst uh, for SoFi, because, uh, let me show you, SoftBank is the biggest uh, shareholder of SoFi. They own uh, about 10.5% uh, uh, of the company. And that is why we have a lot of rumors that SoftBank uh, might sell their shares uh, in SoFi. And th this news also might be quite negative. But also we have uh, some uh, rumors that uh, SoFi might be a buyout target for some bigger company. And uh, it is uh, just uh, rumors, but we have to keep this in mind. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, what uh, should you do if you want to invest in this asset? As I already mentioned, uh, you have to add to your investment portfolio by laddering your buys down every daily red candle. And uh, this uh, movement to the downside for more than 24% uh, is not an exception. And uh, definitely you could accumulate all the way down. And uh, these ranges uh, of about 8 uh, and even 7.7 dollars uh, $7 is quite attractive average price. And uh, this will give you very good uh, average price uh, to hit higher targets and to hit higher profits. So, and what should you do if you want to swing trade this asset? I have to say that for now we are still quite uh, bearish. And that is why if you are risky enough and if your risk tolerance uh, is uh, quite strong, you can accumulate your position all the way down and your stop loss should be slightly below this previous bottom. And from our current price uh, it might be up to... 6% of potential losses, but the upside potential for this asset uh, uh, I think uh, is uh, quite massive because uh, the next range of resistance might be this previous swing high and if we will break it, uh, it will be about 29% of potential profits and uh, definitely it is a very good uh, risk reward ratio of roughly 5 to 1. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm back